Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can change your WordPress website username and password. So I will show you three methods to do it. The first method is uh, from using cPanel. The second method will be from WordPress dashboard just in case you have already have access to the dashboard. And the third method will be if you're using a managed hosting like GoDaddy managed hosting. So stay tuned. So first let's start with the cPanel. And then first go to this uh, cPanel login screen and to do so what you have to do is like this is your website bestwpdemo.xyz this is my website okay just add slash cPanel and it will open this page cPanel login page here enter your username and password and simply login and after logging in you will see a screen like this okay from here uh, in the search bar type here php my admin okay just and um, when you will see this option click on it and it will open in a new tab so this is the this is the database of our wordpress website and here you will see this database um, just expand it click on the plus icon and then scroll down and you will see this user option um, again click on it and now on the right side of the screen you can see this option and and now I did this so here you will see this option user pass now um, select md5 encryption type here and here type your new password type your new password okay now what you have to do is um, click on this option go okay so your password has now been changed and it will automatically change okay so now I will show you let's go to the WordPress dashboard I will log in log out and again log in to show you that it works Just to show you the new password, I will make it visible. Type your new password. Let's log in. And you can see this password works right now. Okay. So that's how simple it is to change your password from cPanel. And now let's learn how you can do it from your WordPress dashboard. And it is just in when you have uh, access to the dashboard. Okay, it is not for resetting. So when log into your WordPress dashboard, and then from here go to settings and sorry, go to user, and from here go to all users, and from here um, select the user for which you want to change your password. Click on edit. And now scroll down and in the last option you will see this account management and click on generate password and uh, this will be a new password okay so or if you want to change uh, keep makes uh, keep a manual password you can type your new password here type your new custom password okay like this and I will copy it and then uh, click on this option just in case uh, you hacked or you think someone else got access to your WordPress account. Click on this option and it will log out uh, all other sessions except this one. So it, you have been logged out from everywhere else. So then click on update profile. So now except for this session if you, your WordPress dashboard was open in any other device window like your mobile phone. You will have to log in again using the new password. So let's test our new password. Um, username is admin. And we'll just paste it. You can see this is the new password I just set. And click on remember login. And we have successfully logged in. Okay. So now the third option is if you do not have a cPanel, you are using some managed hosting like GoDaddy or name cheap ECWP or site crown or something else what you have to do is go to the um, your hosting managed area where you manage your files and stuff 
okay from there uh, in my example i'm going to show you godaddy um, go to just my account and then you will be able to find this manage wordpress option here you will see this option um, it is similar in most hosting edit site okay just simply click on it and it will directly log you into the wordpress dashboard so once you get access to the wordpress dashboard okay um, it will take just a second login okay so once you manage to log into the wordpress area um, but you have to again follow the second step i have shown you go to user all users and from here you can select the user and edit its password okay so i hope you found this tutorial useful it was a quick shot and to direct to the point video so for more such videos subscribe to the channel and do give a like to this video if you found it useful so that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video.